I'm now going to show how to set up your Dehua IP camera, in this case the Dehua PTZ, so that you can view it directly from your smartphone app using the GDM SS Plus app uh, without the need to use an NVR. So basically what we're doing in this situation is to the PTZ we only have two things run in. We've power run directly in and we also have a LAN connection coming directly from our local uh, router. Now what we're doing here prior to um, um, doing this is that we've set the phone uh, onto uh, the, the clearly the PTZ is hardwired into the router and what we've done is we've put the um, the phone onto the local area network here as well, directly off the router. So they're on the same network, and this is vital in terms of doing the setup on this. And um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go through the steps of it, okay? So um, I'm taking for granted here that we have, um, we have gone into the GD uh, MSS Plus app, okay? So that's a uh, separate video showing how to do that, but that's the app specifically for um, the Hua products, okay? So what we want to do here is we want to add on a device, and in this case, we want to add on this particular device. Now what I'm gonna do in preparation for this is I'm gonna just spin over the PTZ here, and I'm gonna rotate it around till the barcode here and the QR code uh, is visible, okay? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into devices and I'm gonna say I want to add a device. So we'll just go plus, and I want to add it using the serial numbers. And we're taking advantage of the fact that um, there's a unique serial number um, for this particular camera. And once it scans it in and it's using the peer-to-peer -peer technology, it knows exactly where it is, okay? So when I, once I do this here, it'll actually start scanning for a code. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna hold it up and it's picked it up. And I'm just gonna drop this back down. And once my cameraman is focused back in again, we can see that it's picked up the serial number here and the device serial number. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna tap next. And it's saying, how is the PTZ connected to the router into the network? And we know it's hardwired in. So we're just gonna tap on the wired camera. And it's saying, make sure the, the camera's powered on, which is of course good advice. And we'll just go next again here. And we come along. And it's saying, yeah, well, I have the serial number. I know the other things. Will you get, create a password for that particular camera? So what we want to do here is we just want to go, I'm just going to go FTV, free TV, and then it's one, two, three, four, five. So you can see we're up to medium strength here. You don't need to go all the way to strong. And what I can do on this thing here is I can just come along and it'll display the actual code there. So you can know for certain what you've added in. And I'll just go next. And I won't bother with an email address. I'll just go, okay, and add the device. And it's there. And it's just gonna to say to me, what do you wanna call it? And I'm just gonna call it me too, okay? Um, or M2 in this case, but that's sufficient. And I'm just gonna save it here. So it's been saved there. Um, so what you can see is the camera is there now. So we, we'll see it's paired up. And then we can see there's cool uh, features here, or uh, features on it here. So with the PTZ, I can actually just spin it around and I can spin it back, you know. So there's all the different things you can do. You can zoom in here and um, tap, and we can continue to zoom onto a particular location, okay? Um, so there's loads and loads of features on it, but now it's directly off it. And it's amazing then. So think about how convenient and handy this is. Like all of a sudden now you want to have a camera set up that you want to work directly off your phone. What do you need to buy? You need to buy the camera, nothing else. Once you have the router, you can just connect it directly off the router, run it off that way, hardwire and power up the camera, and all of a sudden you can set it directly up the thing. So it just makes it tremendously easy. And of course you could add additional devices on with different names on them so you can view them there. So the whole need for an NVR and the complications and the cost that goes with it is all entirely saved. So that's it, an overview of how to set up your Dehua IP camera to allow you to view it directly from your smartphone without the need for an NVR.